Here we are in the cab of Brooks number one. The project is almost complete. Virtually all the controls that you're seeing here in the cab have been added and most of the things have been tested. This includes a visit from the boiler inspector in steam and hydraulic and the locomotive has now been passed fit for traffic. There's a number of interesting features in this cab which we can see, some of which have been restored quite recently. The first of those uh, over on this side of the cab is the lubricator. This has been modified from the previous setup when the locomotive was last in traffic um, and we're hoping this will give a more efficient usage of oil on the loco. Um, everything else has been added, including the injectors. There are two here on the back head, the steam valves at the front and the water valves at the base of the injector. On top of this, there's been quite a lot of other modifications. This time in the locomotive's restoration, we've actually ensured that behind the reverser here, we have the sanding gear. This provides sand to the front and the rear of the locomotive if the rail conditions are slippery. Um, and we've taken the decision on all our locomotive restorations to, to reinstate the sanding capability. So that's really important. Um, the final thing which we've been working on, uh, a valve such as this, the steam brake valve, which has had some restoration. This provides braking just for the locomotive, while the uh, valves here and over here they are all part of the vacuum system, which provides braking on the train. Also, as part of the restoration, we've obviously been spending quite a lot of time with some of the finer details of completing the locomotive. This includes refitting the wooden floor and also a repaint completely internally of the cab in two colors, which you can see looks rather smart, and the restoration of the windows, including their frames, which are here at the front and the rear of the locomotive. Uh, the only real outstanding jobs now on the locomotive are to complete the paintwork, to add the number plates and name plates and make sure that everything else is in order. I imagine that the locomotive will be returning to traffic within two to three weeks, but as long as we don't have any hiccups once it's in steam, the locomotive should give us 10 years good service on the current boiler certificate. Here we are, the culmination of four and a half years of restoration work on the Brooks Number One project. We followed the process all the way through from the boiler restoration, the work on the underframes, the mechanical, the valve gear, all those aspects of the locomotive's restoration. But finally, the finished article is here. Restored to its pretty much original Hunslet green colour with this wonderful black and yellow lining scheme, and also over here the nameplate picked out with a red background. I think everybody will agree that the finish is absolutely stunning. So, as I've said already, a huge amount of work has gone into this by a huge number of people. A lot of different skills, a lot of different parts of the project have taken place, but they have all come together, and this is the part of every restoration that most of the volunteers here really look forward to, and that is the time when the locomotive re-enters traffic. So, here, in a slightly wet and damp Leeds morning, um, it might not look very appealing to go out and take the locomotive into traffic. But uh, within the next few days, via a few uh, little snags here and there being sorted out, the locomotive should be in operation. Um, and, and this will be, as I said, a real milestone for all those that have worked on it in the last four and a half years. Mm -hmm.